All right guys, welcome to your 30 second biology video. And in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit more about cellular respiration. Now cellular respiration, of course, is a pretty complex process, but it can be broken up into three main steps. The first step is called glycolysis. Now glycolysis is pretty much the process where cells break down the glucose. So let's go ahead and start with the glucose molecule which we know as C6H12O6. So our cell pretty much wants to start breaking this down so it can use it for energy. Now how does that happen? Well whenever a cell wants to start breaking down this glucose molecule, it first gets an enzyme called hexokinase. And I'll go ahead and draw my enzyme like this. E with a little cloud. I guess that's the, at least that's my symbol for an enzyme. So what this enzyme does, and this again is called hexokinase, is it pretty much gets energy from the cell to add a phosphate group to the glucose. Now whenever a cell does anything, it needs energy in the form of ATP. Now remember when we were talking about ATP, whenever it uses energy, it gets converted to ADP. Now whenever this happens, you go from three phosphates to two phosphates. So therefore you lose a phosphate, but it doesn't just disappear into thin ear, thin ears, no, thin air. It gets added on to your glucose molecule right here. So now what you do is you end up with glucose plus a phosphate. So if this thing was, you know, a little street gang, what would happen is this. This hexokinase right here would be like, yo, ATP, why don't you give a phosphate to glucose? And then the ATP is like, all right. So it gives a phosphate to glucose. So now we have a molecule that is glucose plus phosphate, and your ATP is now converted to ADP. Now, a couple things that we need to know is, first of all, remember what we're trying to do here. We're a cell and we need energy. But what's happening right now is we actually invested in ATP or we lost some energy just to get this process going. So you actually need to invest some energy before you can create any energy. So what happens is this gets the glucose molecule ready to give off energy. So now the glucose and phosphate is almost ready to give off energy and glucose plus phosphate, this molecule is technically called glucose 6-phosphate. So whenever you have a glucose with a phosphate group added on, the molecule that we have right now is called glucose 6-phosphate. Now once we have glucose 6-phosphate, we can move on to the next step. So let me go ahead and get a new slide open. So remember, what we have now is glucose 6 phosphate which is pretty much a glucose with a phosphate added on why they called it they name everything in biology super long words I would call it glucose with a phosphate molecule added on but that's probably why I'm not you know technically a biologist so now what we need is another enzyme to get this process going to the other step step number two so this other enzyme I'll draw it right here and this is called phosphoglucose isomerase. What this does is it takes your glucose 6 phosphate and it turns it into another molecule called fructose 6 phosphate. Now, a couple things that I want to point out here is that fructose 6 phosphate, this molecule right here, it has the exact same molecular formula as glucose 6 phosphate. Now, the reason that they aren't the same name is because the atoms are arranged a little bit differently. So basically, what I mean is all this enzyme does right here is it changes the shape of glucose 6-phosphate, and whenever we change the shape, we need to give it a new name, and this new name is fructose 6-phosphate. So it changes the shape of the molecule, and that's all step number two is, using this enzyme called phosphoglucose isomerase to change the shape of glucose 6-phosphate and end up with what we have now, fructose 6-phosphate. So let's go ahead and write that on a new slide. What we have now is fructose 6-phosphate. 
So where do we go from here? Well, now what we need is another enzyme. Let me go ahead and write that a little bit neater. Another enzyme. It's a pretty cool looking enzyme right here. And this enzyme is called phosphofructokinase. And what this enzyme does is it uses another ATP. So again, we need to use more energy. Let me draw my ATP a little bit neater. A T P. So we're using more energy, and of course, whenever we use ATP, it goes to ADP, and it loses a phosphate. So what happens in this process is your fructose 6-phosphate, which is it gets the phosphate from ATP so this is pretty much a molecule that has fructose 6-phosphate plus a phosphate now this molecule is now the chemical structure of let me pick a good color C6 H10 O6 and two phosphates. Now the reason that I didn't write out the name like I have been is because the new molecule, this one right here, it's actually called fructose 1,6-biphosphate. Like I said, again, let me repeat that. This molecule right here is called fructose 1,6-biphosphate and I want to stress one more time, I don't name these, uh, you know, these molecules. If I did, I would just call it fructose 6-phosphate with another phosphate added on, but technically, you know, that's not what it's called. But the important concepts to take away here is that notice so far, what we're doing is we're trying to create energy here. Our cell needs energy. But right now, in the very first step, we needed to use an ATP, so we needed to use energy. And then on step number three, we needed to use another energy. So we're trying to freaking create energy here, but already we needed to use two ATPs. So this is what we call the investment phase because so far all we did is we had to use or invest two ATPs and we didn't even create any new ones yet so step one of breaking down the glucose and adding a phosphate group to it step number two of converting the glucose 6-phosphate into fructose 6-phosphate and step number three of glycolysis which you take the fructose 6-phosphate and add another phosphate group this entire process we used or invested two ATPs and that's why step one through three of glycolysis is called the investment phase because we invested energy and in order to make ATPs it takes ATPs kinda of like the saying um, it, 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 uh, what's it? it takes money to make money well same thing it takes ATPs to make ATPs so now that we have our investment of ATPs we're ready to start cashing in getting some energy that the cell can use but for now thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video